Hi everyone. So today I'm at Woolerton Hall as one of my walks for recovering from my heart attack. Uh, most of my recovery walks have been here since we have a, a years long parking pass for the place and it's only 15 minutes from my house. Why not? Uh, I'm here with my wife. She doesn't want to be on camera. Um, <laughs> So I wanted to say a little bit more about my heart attack and how it's affected my plans for the future of hiking. Um, my heart attack would have been sometime early, early September, a couple of weeks before I turned 37. Um, didn't, didn't know I'd had it at the time which, uh, as you'll see in my other video about the, the Darva Way, um, I went on that hike along the Darva Way after my heart attack, but before I knew I'd had one. So, um, yeah, it was, it was late September when we actually found out I'd had a heart attack. Uh, no doctor, I don't know how they know this, but... Um, they said that it was a few weeks prior to when I was actually in hospital, which would have placed it before that hike. Um, and before my before I turned 37, although I didn't actually know about the heart attack until after I turned 37. Uh, so... How's it affected my plans for the future? If anything, it's actually sped them up because now I'm absolutely determined to um, get out and do the Appalachian Trail before my, in, just in case my health gets worse. Um, so, I mean, I always wanted to at least do my first section before I hit 30, uh, but now the plan is to go, uh, I'm hoping, and this all depends, it's not, this is not a promised timeline, but um, if I can, I'm hoping to do my first section uh, March to April 2023. Uh, it's all dependent on finances and other things, whether or not I can get myself back up to that level of fitness in time. Um, so... Hence my recovery walks and my plan to get myself used to walking with weight again. I'm going to buy a weighted vest uh, after Christmas now because we've spent all our money on the kids. Um, so I'm going to get myself a weighted vest. And luckily we live on a massive hill. <clears throat> so I can walk up and down that all day if I want. Uh, and then, yeah, try and get myself back to back to speed and ready to do my first section of the AT in 2023. Um, yeah, I've got a lot of other photos and videos from Woolerton Hall from before, from previous walks. We've been coming here almost every day since since September. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll mishmash that into this video later on. Uh, I'll try and do a bit more video in as we walk around. If we see any of the the deer that are on the grounds, there's two herds of them. You've got the the red deer, who's sort of they they tend to roam all over the estate, although the majority of them stay at one side. And then you've got the fallow on the other side. Um, there's massive herds, there's loads of them. So you do see the red deer all over the place, as you saw at the start of this video. There was one just laying in the field. Um, but where we're heading towards now is actually called Redwood, where the red deer tend to be most of the time. They like 
the woods and the golf course next to it so hopefully we'll see some of them if we do i'll get some footage if not i've already got some footage that i can put in later anyway of uh the whole herd milling about on the golf course and um we'll see about well you know maybe i'll get some footage around the lake and uh the the grounds here at Woolton Hall are, are beautiful. It's it's most famous for um, the fact that it's got Woolton Hall itself is um, used in several of the Batman movies as Wayne Manor. Uh, so you got the woods over here. Hang on, just got to get this side of you. So I mean, I think that's sort of the start of Redwood. But we're going straight ahead. There's a path over there. That we're going to turn down and hopefully we'll see some more of the deer there so i've been yammering on for a while now i'm going to stop filming for a bit so this is redwood i mean you can see all the way through it it's not really much of a wood and then you got on the other side of the path there's the golf course which goes back a lot further than i thought it did uh, still no sign of the red deer herd. They're normally around here somewhere, but we'll keep looking. Got a squirrel though, down there. Try and zoom in on him. There you go, there's tons of them. Okay, I'll come back if we do find the deer. Hi there, so still no deer, but I just thought I'd get this, you see, difference in the woods here between this area where all the underbrush has died off and it's all true um just barren just leaves on the ground and then over here got all the evergreen shrubs you can see the trails going into it over there wonder if the deer are in there hiding away from us I'm not going to go in there just in case because it is winter and as far as I know it's still... So we're just passing Woolerton Hall's formal gardens where they've got their Christmas display all set up interrupted by a pine tree So they've got all these lights along this walk and various different zones there's a bar over there where that stage thing is oh no that's not a bar that's a walkway there is a bar somewhere um, we've not been round it because uh, to take the kids round it four tickets cost us roughly about 60 quid um, as I said earlier we've near near bankrupted ourselves on Christmas this year so uh, yeah we won't be going around that it's just set up for Christmas and then it'll be gone but we have been around the formal gardens just not whilst they've got their lights on. Um, oh yeah, I, I'm not sure because I haven't checked the video yet, but I think I might have interrupted myself at the end of my last bit of footage uh, when I was saying why I'm not going into the bushes looking for the deer. And that's, uh, as far as I know, it's still rutting season. I'm not sure, it might be over, but they still have their antlers. They've not shed them yet, so yeah. I'm not going to go that close to them. Well, we found some. It's not the herd. It's uh, about six. Uh, I always thought they were called bucks. Someone recently called them hinds. I don't know the difference. So, as far as I'm concerned, they're bucks. Not two of them are fighting. Yeah, let's uh, not get too close then. I'll zoom in instead. So there's six of them over there, those two having a tussle. I know this is going kind of all over the place because of uh, the zoom, but as I say, when they're in the middle of a fight, I ain't going to get too close. I'm not actually as far away as the footage looks. Uh, 
probably say I'm about as close as you're supposed to get during rutting season, about 50 meters. So let's stop. Let's stop and zoom in on the two that are going antler to antler. I'm really going for it. But still, I wouldn't want to be in it. Don't know where the rest of the herd are. We're not in Redwood anymore. I mean, you, like I said earlier, you find them all over the estate, but generally most of the herds stay in one area near Redwood and the, and the golf course. And then we're gonna go around the lake and probably go back past where the fallow normally roam, see if we can get any of them on camera for you. Okay, I'll uh, get some more footage in a bit. A little more hens there. You get some beautiful views around this lake. Um, probably won't, this is the busiest part of the estate, so I probably won't be filming and talking to the camera too much because I'm still new to all this YouTube stuff and I feel like a bit of an idiot walking along talking to my phone. So, uh, yeah, probably be mostly be either silent videos or photos around the lake. We'll see. Never know. It's winter, so it might not be too busy here. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Hi. I don't have any food, I'm sorry. I know that's what you thought. There is a shop here where you can buy duck food. And uh, we often do. Maybe I'll get a video of that next time we're here. We don't have time today. Got to get back in time to pick the kids up from school. But next time, we'll get some duck food and uh, we'll make a little video feeding them. Well, it is quiet today, so just thought I'd get some more footage around the lake of this muddy green tunnel. Very muddy today. Wish I'd worn my boots. But, oh well. Can't go for a walk in winter without expecting to get muddy. Looks like this tree had a bad day. Goes back to there. Destroyed the fence. This must have been during the high winds we had lately. And it's all over there. And destroyed that one. Wouldn't want to be here when that happened. So we're over at this bit that uh, me and the kids, we call this fallow field um, because this is where they sort of tend to hang out. Although the last few times we've been here, none of them have been out in the fields. They've all been in that wood block over there, which there is a path that goes right alongside it. So there's a lot of them, we know that, but they're very hard to see when they're in that woods. But you know, when we get closer, I'll have a look in amongst the trees and see if we can get any on camera for you. Okay, see you in a bit. Well, last bit of filming for the day as we head back to the car. We didn't, well, we kind of saw some fallow, but they were very far away. I'll put, the I'll put the photos in after this video so I can explain in advance that they were taken at like 10 times zoom. And they don't even look real, but they are, I promise. Um, so yeah, I didn't see any, didn't, well, I say 
didn't see any fallow. We saw some, but they were very far away. And uh, it's a deer conservation area inside that woods. So people aren't allowed in there. So I got I got the best photos I could, but they're not very good. Uh, so just see Wallet and Hall poking up above the trees over there. It was in one of my earlier photos as well from the side. Uh, there's a photo of some wreaths on a bench with some deer and then Woolerton Hall in the background, but that's the side of Woolerton Hall. Uh, just the last few, oh, you can't even see them on the camera. There's a couple of deer over there in the distance. Red deer, that would not fallow. Or I'd go over and get some footage. But yeah, we're nearly back at the car park now, so I'll end it for the day and uh, put all of our previous footage and photos from before today from my other recovery walks. I'll stick those in after this as well. I'm taking a video, darling. Mm. See the big stag over there? Mm. 